What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to Dundee FC. Career mode here on EAFC 24 as we come back to try and break the monopoly of Scottish football. And what do you know? We take on the team who holds it, Celtic, in our first game today. But we're at home. We are currently in 11th spot in the uh, Saints Premiership in Scotland after a very good run of results in the last game. Don't want to talk about that Livingston game. But we have uh, we got eight points in our last five games, which is actually really good. We only had three before that. So let's see if we can continue that good run of form against Celtic here. I take a draw, really. Um, and we actually are much, much closer to getting to the um, January transfer window as well. So hopefully... We can get to uh, that point as well and make may, and maybe make some uh, moves here as well to improve this team. So let's see if we can get our first win of the the um, the episode here, or at least the per first points against Celtic here today. Just gotta keep Celtic at bay. It's Better said than done, really. And there's a strike and there's a goal. Kyogo gets him a goal within the first five minutes. And he's the man that we couldn't keep quiet last time. And Celtic have taken an early, early lead before we've even touched the ball. Said it in the last episode. When we press from the front, we can be quite a, a solid team to, to just keep going there and when we do that we we actually do it pretty well we're pretty good at pressing from the front i don't think we've got anybody who's particularly you know amazingly quick or anything like that but uh there's a tackle that goes in that's not exactly what i wanted to do there gregor's gone down and the referee might flash a red card here as he was the final man but it's only a yellow and donnelly can count his lucky stars there because they easily could have decided this that was a red, but now it's a, a free kick in a dangerous position. It is going to be McGregor who's going to take it. They have a... McGregor! It's over. We get away with it. Maeda gets into the box here, cuts it back, gets it through to Kyogo, and back again, and it's a goal. Right before the break, Celtic double their league, it's McGregor. And probably deserve it as the last time he came through, we just buckled him to make sure he couldn't score, but he gets his goal, and Celtic go two up. A lot of good players, Celtic, and that's the problem. There's so many you have players that you have to deal with. And if you don't, they'll they'll punish you. And that's really the issue. There's such a massive gulf in class. I mean, I talked about it with Livingston in the last game, in the last uh, video, sorry, and the, they, sh the sh they showed the difference between even just a mid-team side who are looking to maybe push into that top four place. Um, now, we finally get a tackle in. They nearly bounced right for him, but we do get it away. But... Livingston uh, showed what the difference is between, you know, a bottom side and and a team like us uh, or a team like them who, as I said, were kind of trying to break into that top half of the table. But uh, we just can't get anything going against Celtic, and I, I knew that was going to happen. We, we're not, we, we're, we're not, we're not at this level yet. And if we can, if we can finish this with, you know, two nil, that's a, not a bad result in comparison to what we've done in in previous uh outings against teams like this but now we can possibly break as Kerr breaks down this right hand side Kerr little dink and the heart is able to go and pick it out of the air but that was that was good by Kerr did made did some really good work there as he tried to pick out Tiffany goes in Carson won that and we do head it away, but only out to the edge of the box as they try to work it back in. We're just trying to keep them at bay. And Shockness, he's done well, but he's lost the ball again. Little bit of skill there, and that's just bounced over the crossbar. Because we're just trying to keep him at bay. 2-0 is a decent result for us. 
Obviously, you'd like to get a draw, but that's probably not going to happen against Celtic. And we've proven that we can go one on one with them to an extent. We were better, even better in the second half until this bit of pressure that they've gotten here at the end of the game. As they continue to come forward, he's turned McCown inside out there. Johnson and Ashcroft's going to have to come across. He did pretty well, but he didn't win the ball there. Johnston's still there, and eventually we do get the tackle in, and we can go away. Royally now. Royally is not a good passer of the football. But I've learned from his first uh, soiree, soiree into the first team this season. McGregor. No Maeda. And that will finish it. A 2-0 loss to Celtic. Uh, not the result we wanted, but we were competitive. We didn't make many chances. I don't think we had a strike on goal. But we we, we, we came forward a few times, gave them a little bit pre uh, of pressure um, in, um, in counter-attacks. But uh, we couldn't, weren't able to create any chances. 2-0 loss. Uh, not a terrible way to start the video. But uh, hopefully we can get more results coming up in the games that are coming after this one. Uh, the games don't get any easier. Second place Hearts away from home next. They're right behind Celtic in the uh, in the table. As uh, Hearts are, well, they're five points behind. So Celtic are starting to break away. But we, of course, need to get more results. And Hearts um, being in second place, chasing Celtic, this isn't going to be an easy game. So let's see what we can do here in our second game in this video. The Scottish Premier League's top uh, Premiership's top scorer is actually on Hearts Shankland. He scored three against us, so we know what he can do. Uh, what he can do to a side, and um, we'll have to look out for him here to, today. And here is Shankland as we are able to get the tackle in on him. But the referee has said that that's a foul. Or are we going back to the earlier one? We're going back to the earlier one. Shankland will take it, and we are able to win it and head it away. But uh, looks like that. Oh, and here's Oda, and that's a goal. Probably should have uh, got rid of it, but we didn't. And Oda takes uh, takes his goal. One nil Hearts. Hearts probing just outside the box. Good play by Cameron, though, as he is able to. Get that back, and here's Beck. And Beck is going to set Cameron free down this left-hand side. Now he needs to find someone. Tries to cut it back. We'll get a corner. Some positive signs here. After we conceded, it's Byrne who's going to deliver it. Right into the middle. McGee is there. He tries to attack it. Gets nothing out of it. Out to Portales. He gets a strike away, but it's up in the air. Bakayoko wins it. And we have the ball back again. Burn. Out to Robinson, who's down this left-hand side. He gets it back. He just can't quite get to Bakayoko. We did everything right there. Just couldn't get the final ball. And now Hart can take advantage of the counter-attack. Maybe we're able to get some players back now. But they're in the middle. Shankland. We clear it away. Robinson. Bakayoko has stayed onside. He's done everything right. And he will finish right before the break. It's been coming for us. And finally it goes in the back of the net. And we get a clear cut chance. And Bakayoko isn't going to miss with the form that he's in. One all. And maybe we can get a result out of this game. in the player and give it to Cameron now let's see what we can do can we make it to the boy line we might be able to Cameron's done excellently he's done excellently he's done everything but the finish keeper saves it but we still have possession Bakayoko now we lose it now this is the time where Hearts are at their most dangerous on the counter attack Shankland but no we're able to get the ball back again Hearts have come alive again in the second half, but it's been an end-to-end -end game, and we have been 
Value for money. Great ball in. Robinson! And with 15 minutes left to go, Dundee FC have taken the lead with Zach Robinson scoring our second. Does an excellent leap back. Robinson, look, he's all alone out in this right hand side. He comes in from his wing position. And it's he's he's alone. And he has to finish, and he does. Gets just enough power on him to get past the goalkeeper. And it's 2-1. We've taken the lead, and we're, we've been value for, value for money for that lead as well. Just need to hold him off for these last few minutes. And if we can do that, we will come away with three points. But this is Hearts, and they're second in the table for a reason. I think even you'd make, you would have made good money on Dundee to get anything out of this game. And Hearts don't even get an opportunity. And Dundee will get a win against second place Hearts away from home. That's a huge win for us. And our good run of form continues after a horrific start to the season. Another win. Zach Robinson with the winning goal. Next up is St. Mern and they are in seventh position and we're starting to gain ground on teams like Hibernian and Ross County who are only three points ahead of us now after 17 games so yeah St. Mern are mid-table they're a little bit far off the top four as a uh, obviously the top four doesn't mean much in Scottish football I think it's the top three who get European qualification as uh, Livingston are currently in fourth and Hearts are in third as Celtic Rangers and Hearts are starting to break away. But a lot uh, after we beat them, Rangers have been able to get back into uh, second position. But now we're on 14 points. We're making more chances, scoring more goals and being better defensively. We need to get better at the start of games as well because we're, we're conceding early. But we uh, we play against St. Mary today. They're not known for scoring goals. They're um, tied second worst in goals scored. Um, this year. So maybe we'll be able to keep a clean sheet in this game. Lovely ball out in this left hand side. And we were left uh, a little bit short uh, handed at the back after Kerr went forward, but seems that we've regained our shape again. We weren't able to take advantage of it. But. We might get a chance here. Good turn there from the player. And he's going to score. We just weren't able to, to tackle him. And once again, we lead up, give up an early lead. We've been able to come back recently. But I prefer not to concede early in games. And give us a better chance of actually uh, getting these wins. And instead of us having to come back. Could be two. It's not. Good save. And the referee's going to give a penalty. I really dislike that in the AFC. Late challenge. He's taking his shot already. I understand it's a late challenge. I get that. And to be fair, he didn't even touch him there. I, I understand it's a late challenge, but it's not a slide tackle. It's just a stay on your feet. That's the, I hate that. And they're probably going to go ahead. Yeah, there's the second goal. Not deserved. They did break us open, but the keeper saved it. And we just put our foot in and they go 2-0 ahead. That's really demoralizing. Three, yep. And that is absolute... <sighs> yeah, that's just not... That's, that's ridiculous. We three uh, 0 to us today is, is unfair, but that's what it is. It is what it is, and I, I don't know why, but we seem to be worse at home than we are away. Away, we used to be able to get results away from home, but at home we seem to struggle. I don't know why that is, but we're going to lose again today. This time it's going to be three 0 and honestly, that 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 flatters Saint Mirren a lot, to be honest. And there's the full-time whistle. 3-0 loss. Doesn't deserve it. Then again, we lost 6-0 against Livingston. And I think we did deserve that one. But hopefully we can bounce back in the next game. Let's just move past this one. 
Next up is Harry Burnian, and they're actually only three points ahead of us in the table. A win for us today draws us level with them, which would be which would be big. We would be behind them on goal difference, of course, but uh, uh, that's just, this is a big game. If we can continue to rise up the table, we might be able to finish mid-table after a really poor start. Got a chance here early. Cameron coming down his left and side. Gives it back to back Yoko to burn. Out to Kerr. He will keep it in play. There's no one in there. Someone at the back post is there. Cameron, he gets on the first touch. Gets a strike away. And that's a good save for the goalkeeper. Nice play by Cameron to take it off the, the defender's toe. It will be Anderson to take the corner. Ball goes in. Portales is up. He doesn't win it. And Hibernian do head it away. McGowan uh, is up there. And he wins the ball back. Byrne can't get it out of his feet. Now Hibernian might be able to counter-attack us now. Trench is very good there to have down that right-hand side. Plenty of pace on him. But they've got him behind us now. And this is the, the danger. But we've gotten away with it again. And we will bring it away. And now again, Cameron comes down this left and side. He's actually got some, given some the right full, some real problems today. Now Kerr is here on the right and side. He's got past the left back. Now if he can find someone. Back to Robinson. Strike save. We're making opportunities today. We just haven't put one away yet. Burn. Out swinging corner. Portales is up and Portales will score. We have definitely been worth it today. And we're at home today. And finally we get a good home performance in. Portales gives us the lead. Let's see if we can keep running this good wave of pressure. To see if we can get more goals. And pull away from um, my Burnian. And become level with them on the table if we can get the three points. What a header there. And we are. It's a great save from Beck to, uh, by, or by Carson to be fair. As it is, the danger is not over yet and they will score. They get the ball in the net. And Hibernian are back on level terms. They threw and they score right before the break. It happens all the time in the EFC at, at the higher difficulties. You might be able to see it here in the replay. I'm kind of just sick of it because you've got your man under control for the most part. As long as you you just have to bring someone over with uh, giving him a little bit of a helping hand. No one comes. No one comes and helps. And you can even see it here when he turns. French moves away from him. He just backs off. Why would you back off in that situation? I can understand this. That makes the game harder. I understand that. But at the same time, you know, you got to have, if your players have good, I don't know, if they, ha if they have awareness in FIFA, they probably don't. But if they've got good awareness, they should come to that ball and press. There's no reason for them to, to not do that. But there is a halftime whistle as we go 2-1 down right before it. Ball in behind, this could be 3-1. And we defend it into the middle, and there's the goal, 3-1. As uh, the, our run of good form seems to have uh, ended now, as I burn and go 3-1 ahead. Nice ball there by McCowan, who's just come on. Kerr gives it back to back Yoko, retains possession. And he gives it back. McCown. Curve, bring it to the byline. Can he find someone? Back Yoko's there and he will finish. That's two. Get the ball. And let's see. We've got a little bit over 15 minutes to get a, an equalizer. Anderson save. I think he was offside. Almost certain he was offside. 
He wasn't. That actually wasn't offside. Okay, so we've got a chance for corner now. Anderson is going to take it. Ball in towards the back, and it's headed goalwards, but uh, well off target. Great ball in behind Cameron. It's Boyle. Great challenge. Really good. Now we need to get on our bikes to get to the other side. The other part of the pitch, Tiffany. Tiffany's done well. But Miller's not letting him go anywhere. But he's let him left him for dead here again. Back in. Back in Yoko. He's going to finish. And Dundee FC has completed the comeback. Now can we get the winner? Five minutes to go. It would be an absolute hell of a comeback. I take the draw right now, but this is just excellent. Draws to the defender. Bakayoko backs off a little bit, and he scores his brace. All oh, momentum is turned around in our favour, but we need to be disciplined. We need to, to stay disciplined as they come down this side again. Boyle is there, but Cameron is there to defend him, and he is giving the ball away. And this is how we got forward last time, but I don't think we're going to have enough time. We will not, but we will take the draw. Dundee FC come back. After going 1-0 up, we went 3-1 down, and we showed a lot of determination, a lot of grit to come back and get a draw out of this game. 3 all. we'll take a draw, but we would have liked the win. But after the way the, the game went, a draw is definitely a good result. A few days later, we now face Rangers at Ibrox. And uh, they have now got a little bit of a, a mountain to climb. As uh, Celtic have got a nine-point gap at the top. But we do travel to Rangers. Last time we faced a team in second position, we beat them. That was Hearts only a few games ago. So if we can... Put up a good, uh, a good uh, performance against Rangers today. Maybe get a point out of it. I'd be really happy with that. The bad sign about this is after the the win uh, or the draw against uh, Hibernian. Well, this is on a short week, the Rangers. So a lot of players that we would normally have in our starting eleven, we actually don't today. Um, Bakayoko is, not, is on the bench. Cameron McCown, I think, starts. But Robinson, who's had a fair good uh, run of games, he's actually up top now. But he's suffering for um, with uh, some fitness issues as well. But with a lot of changes made for this game because of this being a midweek game, we don't have uh, all of our players uh, on full fitness. So... This is going to be a tough game with our basically our our, our our subs bench taking up the majority of the starting 11. But let's see if we can get a result out of the game anyway. There it is, one goal. Just bad defending and Rangers are through. This could be once again... Three, four goals if we're not careful. And Rangers take the lead. Strike two. I thought we had that dealt with. I really did. I thought they weren't getting through, but uh, Roof has struck that in from the edge of the box right into the corner. Excellent finish, to be fair. 2-0. And this could be an embarrassing scoreline if things keep going the way they, they are. I thought we had him. Like, yes, he's got a chance. I thought we'd be able to have our defender come over, but that's a superb finish, to be fair. It actually starts outside the post and comes back in. I'm not quite sure why Carson didn't, didn't get his hands to that. Good ball there. They can't do anything. As Portales tries to get rid, and there's three. Alrighty, I think we're going to end this game, this uh, session on a loss, but it's against Rangers, so it's not surprising. But uh, yeah, we haven't done much in this game, and uh, with the backup boys on, it's not a surprise. The 
done well to get the ball back and now possibly might be able to do something here that's a nice little ball into Robinson good strike straight at the goalkeeper though first uh, chance of the game has come 72 minutes into the game that'll show you the kind of domination or lack of uh, opportunities that we've really had today four well yeah we're we're certainly behind the top tier of teams in the premiership but uh we're able to give hearts a good game but rangers obviously a different uh, uh, uh an even higher class than them so 4-0 yeah two, or two poor results here today and just want to move on from them at this point not that this session was completely poor as there is the full time whistle 4-0 to Rangers as we do need to invest in the trans January transfer window uh, to get in some defenders we just haven't done enough haven't done well and uh that's another loss for us. 4 0 against Rangers. Everyone, every other game <laughs> drew. Time for a quick but um, not a terrible session. We got a few wins. We got a few draws. We did some. Um, we did. Uh, we did some good things. But at the same time, we just didn't really do much. Uh, you know, when we're I played with Sutton, I know what that's like and playing against players who are of the same quality you kind of understand of um and 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 it's kind of more i suppose even but when you're playing as done dfc and you're playing against teams on a regular basis that are in that are more league one league league one um um or championship or even premiership quality it's tough and i think people will as i said before people will go towards Luton so town and believe oh this is the real tough uh tough um uh game or way this is the toughest uh thing that you can do in uh efc 24 is try and keep Luton in the premiership i don't know making sure dundee fc don't finish uh bottom of since premiership might be uh a more difficult task but uh Let's see what, what we can do but uh, in the next episode. It is right before January transfer window. However, that is all we have time for here today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed our uh, five games here today. And if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you'd like to check out some of my other content, um, such as the college football uh, or... Um, baseball please do um even if you don't like the sport you might enjoy the game you might find a new game that you enjoy um thanks very much guys have a good day and uh, we'll see you in the next one peace out